Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be taking a deep dive into the latest celebrity couple, Notori Nauton and Two Lewis, and we as we go deeper into their beautiful, lavish, bright and colourful wedding in Atlanta. Notori is best known from her hit TV show Power, as well as her girl group 3LW. She got married in a beautiful setting in a five-star hotel, the St Regis in Atlanta. The couple opted for a very regal purple, lilac, lavender, gold and cream colour scheme and the wedding was planned by LB Events and photographed by Stan Lowe Photography. So starting at the beginning, the stationery was created by Papered Wonders and you can see the beautiful menu cards and accessories that were sent out to guests. What we loved about this wedding is that they installed a balloon wall which was great for photographs so when the bride took pictures with her bridesmaids and herself and with the makeup artist she had that beautiful background behind her. As you can see here the bridesmaids were all had matching robes and slippers and again it all tied in quite nicely with this purple theme that they went for. The gowns and namely the dress of which Notori had two dresses in the morning, one for her getting ready and then she had obviously her ceremony dress which was a Berta gown. She told Brides Magazine that she loved the dress and the way it sparkles when she moves, it looks like my body is covered with diamonds. And we agree, it's an absolutely gorgeous dress. Particularly love the little details on the shoulders as well as the whimsical design of the dress. Going on to the groom who went all out with a London-based designer, Oswald Botang, and he wore an ivory suit with a purple bow tie and Gucci shoes. So for the ceremony, the ceremony took place outdoors in the, in the beautiful St. Regis Gardens. Akeem Clayton once again decorated the ceremony with lavish flowers in bright purples and pinks. From the cascading dramatic staircase garland filled with roses, orchids, hydrangeas, leading to a beautiful mirrored walkway adorned with more wild flowers. And obviously you've got that dramatic floral arch at the top where the couple will later then say their I do's. Montel Jordan officiated the wedding, which was a nice surprise. And then we had Notori's daughter, who was given the role as a flower girl alongside Two's niece. Notori had her father walk her down the aisle to Brown Eyed Girl. The ceremony was a beautiful one, and they jumped the broom to Stevie Wonder's signed, sealed and delivered. Notori said she was just so happy to have both her parents around and still together after 50 years of marriage. She felt grateful and happy and excited to begin her new love. The bridal party. As you can see here, the couple managed to take some beautiful shots with the bridal party, going for that very bold purple and peachy coral colored outfits. And it's one thing that you must make sure you get these beautiful, powerful shots with the girls and the guys that surround you throughout your life. So the reception, our favorite part of the day and it's obviously it's the decor and it was a beautiful one. It did not disappoint. Akeem brought in long custom family tables with gold dining chairs, low and long flower arrangements with lots of candles and naturally styled flowers. The room was draped and gently uplit with lighting and the couple mixed long and round tables and oback gold chairs with low dramatic punch bowl floral arrangements. The place settings for, for the guests were charger plates and gold cutlery alongside beautiful stationery and place cards. An enormous floral chandelier was installed in the ceiling, again using those rich colours of roses, orchids and hydrangeas. And the custom head table had a floral wall installation and again in that purple, real unique style. And they of course finished the look with a beautiful personalised dance floor and lots of dramatic lighting and projection gobos. So obviously the scene is set for lots of partying and the couple had their first dance to Brown Eyed Girl by Tevin Campbell and obviously had fireworks and a smoke machine to add that dreamy effect to the turnaround and the dance floor. The bride danced with her father and the groom danced with his mum for the parents dances and I also managed to find this clip of the bridal party running in and doing their dance moves to welcome everyone onto the dance floor as well. The groom also had a dance with his new stepdaughter and they had rehearsed it prior to the wedding. You can see the mum in the background recording it on her phone and they were so excited to perform this together which we thought was really sweet. The groom also had another dance with his 
bridal party. And as you can see here, he performed for his wife. And the bouquet toss here. I managed to get this clip from Instagram. And the bride chucked the bouquet and guess who caught it? Lala, who was very happy with her win and her catch. And now wondering if she's finally going to get married next. But here you can hear her saying, thank you, God, <laughs> for catching the bouquet. And the two obviously embrace. It was a lovely moment for the, for the two. And last but not least, the cake. This was yet another simple cake, a four tier cake by Cakes by Lamika. And I must say the floral display is a lot bigger than the cake itself, which is very understated and subtle. In the UK here, we tend to go for very big cakes. So it's quite a strange thing to see such small cakes for weddings. But anyway, we want to know your thoughts on the wedding, the colors, the style, the ceremony, the reception, the activities. What would you pick? What would you change? Be sure to pop us, let us know, pop the questions in the box below and we'll get back to you. But be sure to subscribe for more celebrity weddings and more decor chats.